Hey, gun people. Well, this one, this is contempt of cop. This little female pink panty officer got her panties in a knot because she didn't like that he wouldn't roll down his window. So she wanted to escalate this and show him who was boss and exert her female power over the mean man because she got dumped last week and last month and the year before. But anyway, uh, this is a 100% contempt of cop. This guy needs to file a complaint. It may not go nowhere, but this woman needs this in her jacket for escalating this and uh, pointing her gun at this guy for no reason. By a police officer. Let's see what this is about. What's going on? Speedometer went up to like 170. Wow. Hi, can I see your license, please? Uh, why, what am I being pulled over for, officer? Sir, can I see your license? What am I being pulled over for? You're being pulled over for an indignity to me on the roadway. Now, an indignity? Oh, you know what? This is the wrong video. <laughs> This isn't the Kip to cough one. I just watched it. This is a different one. This is she's upset because I think he flipped her off or said screw pigs or something. Me to you, officer. I'm letting you know I'm recording you right now. Okay. Am I being detained? I need to see your. Am I being detained? No, sir. If I'm not being detained, I don't by law have to show you my license. Sir, you're operating a vehicle on North Carolina public highway. I am. I don't understand why she said he's not being detained. I mean, she stopped him. He pulled over. When you turn on your lights, you're detaining somebody. He asked her if he was being detained. She said no. I don't understand what her thought process is. She didn't know what she's talking about. She absolutely detained him. She used her governmental powers and authority by activating her emergency lights, causing him to yield, and now she's approaching him and asking for his license. He's freaking detained. But you can't just pull over whoever you want unless they're breaking a law. Sir. Am I being detained? Yes, you are, sir. What am I being detained for? What is your name? Give me your license. What is your what am I being detained for? Give me your license. At least she has her hand on her gun. I'll give her that. Rick, why should she have her hand on a gun? Because you don't know who you're dealing with, and if it goes bad, you don't have to find it, you know where it's at, and it's just a good practice to always keep that hand on your gun when you're contacting people. I know some people get offended and they cry and they spill their freaking sprinkles on their donuts because it offended them because a cop has their hand on their gun. You know what? I don't care. When I approached you, my hand was on my gun. Doesn't have to look aggressive, doesn't have to look mean, but it needs to be there. What am I being detained for? By law, you are not allowed to do it. You are breaking the Constitution. A traffic stop for what? What did I do? Sir, I just told you what What you did I do? License, please. What am I being detained for? I committed no crime. Why are you pulling me over? You can't just pull over whoever you want. See, if this guy would let her answer some questions, he's just yelling, rattling off, not letting her answer. So he's not really any getting... If he let her answer, she may answer wrong. The purpose of getting somebody on videotape is to get them to talk. That's what cops do to citizens. You pesky tax-paying tax citizens, my goal is to get you to run your freaking mouth so you can hang yourself. I give you plenty of reasons to run your mouth and, and show me how smart you are, and then I use everything you say against you. This guy's not letting her run her mouth so he can use things that she says against her. Rick, you're just... Be quiet. Be quiet. And ask for their license, unless they have committed a crime that is against the Constitution. What is your name? I'm Officer Boone, sir. Officer Boone. I'd like to see your license. What, unless I am being detained and I broke the law... By law, I do not have to give you my license. Yes, sir, you do. We no, I don't. Not unless I am being detained for breaking the law. What law did I break? Sir, when you're operating a vehicle on a North Carolina... What law did I break? What law did I break? That is not... What law? Am I free to go? No, sir, you are not. What law did I break? Indignities to a police officer. What... Indignity to a police officer. Is that a freaking crime? Is that like contempt of court is that do they really have a law and dignity of a police officer she just making shit up that's what i'm saying if he let her run her mouth i'd be like indignity of police officer i wasn't aware of that what penal code section of that what's the penalty for this? is that a misdemeanor or an infraction what, what uh, educate me on a law officer because i'm not familiar with that law please let me know 
what section indignity a police officer is. I'd like to look it up on my phone. Law is this? Indignities to a police officer? Are you kidding? What law is this? Sir, I need your license now. You can call back up, but I broke no law. I broke no law. You're being a bully right now. You're pulling me over for absolutely no reason. What did I do? Indignity to a police officer? I did nothing. You're pulling me over for absolutely no reason. What is your badge number? I do not have a badge number. You don't have a badge? What's your name again? Officer Boone. Officer Boone, UNC Police Department. I could. I broke no law. She seems very insecure. She doesn't have the law down. She doesn't. She's not familiar with the law. She's not trying to exert why she pulled him over. I think she pulled him over for contempt of cop. He said something like "pig suck" or flipped her off, and she got offended. So now she's going to make up a charge of indignity to police officer. Maybe we can make up a law that failure to compliment a police officer. When a police officer walks by, if you don't say, good morning, officer, have a nice day, that should be a crime, uh, you know, not, not complimenting a police officer. Yeah, we should just make that crime up too. Maybe we make a crime that when you pass peace off, you have to give them a donut. If you don't give them a donut, you're in violation of section 1402.1, failure to give a police officer a donut, disrupting his day. I broke no. What? You'll arrest me. Will. Your apartment will not hear the end of this. Okay. And all of this is being recorded. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving you one last chance to let me go. <laughs> okay, people. When you start giving ultimatum to cops, you're just backing yourself in a corner. They're in control. They get to do what they want. You can threaten. You can threaten to call the chief. You can threaten that you're going to sue. You can threaten that they're not going to hear the end of it. And they don't care. They're going to do what they're going to do. And they either think they're right or they they work in an environment to where people are allowed to do what they do and they know nothing's going to happen to them. So, but giving them an ultimatum, that, that ain't never going to work. Never in the history of police did somebody go, you better let me go right now. This is your last chance. And the cop went, okay, if it's my last chance, have a good day. We'll see you later. That just ain't going to happen. For for Because I didn't do anything. And if you don't let me go, I promise you, I will, pers I will pursue charges against you. Okay. So what law is this again? Okay, you can't pursue charges against the cops because they're government. They get immunity and the DA will not file against them even if you have a really, really good case, because government usually doesn't eat government, especially government that protects government, and cops protect government. They are the strong arm of the government. That's why they get the protection they get. You know, the king wasn't running around uh, cutting off heads of the people that guarded him. His guards got special privileges and protections because they guarded him. Well, the cops guard our political system and our politicians. Call that a clue. Sir, let me see your license. I'm what? not going to argue with you anymore. Please, let me see your license. What you're doing right now is against the law. No, sir, it is not. Yes, it is. Indignity to a police officer? What law is this? What did I do? What indignity did I do? What indignity did I do? Do you really have nothing better to do with your time than pull over a kid who's getting his PhD for indignity to a police officer? Sir, you drive by my car and you rolled into the window and you say oink oink, yes sir. <laughs> That's what the indignity was, oink oink. Oh my goodness. He could have been talking to one of his buddies who was getting him some freaking pig skins. Oh my God, he said oink oink. God forbid if he said you donut eating crazy fool. You're pulling me over for saying oink oink? Are you kidding? You made a U turn in the middle of the road to pull me over for saying oink oink? I wasn't even talking to you. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh my God. You're going to lose your badge for this. That is illegal. Okay, that's another clue. Nobody loses their badge. 
because somebody makes a complaint on them because you're upset. But I, I can't tell you the number of times I was threatened that I was going to lose my job, they were going to kill my family, I was going to be in prison, uh, you know, whatever. All right, well, we'll end that there on, uh, you can't say oink, oink, and wherever the hell this is at, she said, the state, I can't even remember, but anyway, don't say oink, oink there, it's uh, indignity to a police officer. Holy shit. All right, we'll end that there.